I started, I got started in music in concert band in middle school. Played various instruments, um, ended up on percussion. And uh, I started playing guitar in the eighth grade and not because I wanted to play guitar, but because I wanted to play drums and my parents would not let me play drums. So guitar was the next best thing to be in a rock band, which I'm, I'm very glad it worked out that way because uh, I feel like there's way more artistic opportunity with a guitar. You can write songs and sing along with it. Um, I got into mandolin, uh, banjo, bass, keyboards, uh, really things with frets I'm really drawn to. And the way I got into the eight string banjo is I'd always been tinkering around with my guitars, trying to evolve them, do something different. So I put bass strings on my guitar. And then I wanted to make it more of my own. And I just, I resonate with acoustic instruments. The, I didn't grow up listening to bluegrass, but I love mandolins and banjos. And so one day it just hit me, I needed to turn this into an eight string banjo. Summertime is by Gershwin, who's considered America's greatest composer, and it's considered his greatest song. It's from the opera called Porgy and Bess. And uh, something interesting about the song, it has been covered, uh, recorded over 33,000 times. So the song really resonates with a lot of people. So this is my take on it. And um, I tried to make it feel summery. Uh, it has a Latin groove, which I don't know why that says summer to me, but it does. And there's a little theme I've added that I always picture the, the waves coming up on the beach. You'll hear that at the beginning, the middle, and the end. Watermelon Man is by Herbie Hancock, a jazz composer. Um, he's still making music today. He's most famous in the 60s and 70s. And uh, he actually did several versions of his own song. So if you look up Watermelon Man, you're going to hear his own variations on it. Um, this one really demonstrates the, my eight string banjo uh, with the difference in the chords and the bass lines and how I keep a percussive sound on it. So it actually has a, a bass solo in it.
then there's another song by Herbie Hancock off the, his famous Headhunters album. And the song is, it again really demonstrates eight string banjo, what's possible on it. And it's one of the most challenging songs I play. You'll hear the bass line is separate from the melody. And uh, I have to, I sweat every time I play it, trying to pull both parts off. So this is my eight string banjo. I always explain it this way, that it's, it's half bass, half guitar, and then half banjo with the body, which I know that doesn't add up, but what do you expect from a banjo player? Um, and I don't really play typical banjo music on it. Uh, I do jazz standards. So I can keep the like a walking bass line and the chords or melody on top and I play like a, a drum beat when I play along. An interesting part of the design of the instrument is what's called the fan frets. You'll notice that they, they come at, a, at different angles and uh, usually a banjo or a guitar is a certain length and a bass is much longer and so the builder had to compensate for the two different lengths. So you'll notice the bass is this long, where the guitar side is, is much shorter. Um, and it actually makes it play really in tune. If you've ever noticed a grand piano has that funny shape, well the high notes are shorter strings and the low notes are longer strings. And it does not make it more complicated to play, it actually makes it easier because it goes with the ergonomics of my, hand, of my arm. My newest CD is called Banjo, spelled with an eight instead of a B for like eight string banjo. And I do jazz standards, stuff from Nat King Cole, Frank Sinatra, and um, it's, it's almost a solo record. Because of the eight string banjo, how it works, I can play the bass, the chords, keep a little percussive groove on it at the same time. And, uh, but I did hire a guy named Chris Gage uh, from Texas he played on the on Hee Haw. I grew up watching Hee Haw, 
And so he added Dobro on here. So it's really my, just combines everything of who I am, uh, what I love about music currently, the jazz, A-string banjo, uh, performing as a small group, and Dobro, which is one of the most beautiful sounding instruments to me.